Hello there everyone, we're now in our last video in in the chapter of specific issues in science, technology, and society. Still in our playlist or course in science, technology, and society. Um, this is what we call the last video now, the internet and beyond. Now, we will talk about the World Wide Web, um, the famous WWW, the triple W's, are commonly known or commonly misinterpreted as the internet. So we first want to recall or ask this question who is the father of information theory anyone any ring of the bell okay actually the father of information theory is claude e shannon or cloud e shannon i don't know how to pronounce this properly but this is the spelling the correct spelling we also have that shannon information um, again this information theory is part of the broad system or branch of mathematics called um, complex systems or if not, if it's not a branch of mathematics so it's a branch of of science or another discipline entirely so that's complex systems so we have here information theory and the father is claude e. Shannon. we have the internet it's the worldwide system of interconnected networks that facilitate data transmission among innumerable computers so we call that the internet Okay, so that's the interconnectedness of networks that facilitate. The ones when you're viewing this right now in YouTube, this is the power of the internet. So it's it's making you interconnected. And then you can see um, information that I uploaded here in, in, in my location, going to your location, and you can see it anytime you want. You can access it anytime you want. So that's the power of the internet. Now, we've been doing search in search engines, we have Googled a lot of things, but how can you check the reliability of web sources? So this is a very simple guide, a very brief guide of how you can. Number one, you need to check who the author is. Uh, is the author um, competent enough to write that kind of that kind of um, information, that kind of article? Hmm, maybe you need to check it. Um, am I am I worthy enough to? to share this or to tackle this information um maybe you try to dig in who am i who i am okay so that's that's the thing you must dig in um who the author is anyway i am sir a okay a university instructor second who published the site so is it a reputable organization is it someone you can trust is it a company that has high standards things like that number two what is the main purpose of the site? Why did the author write it? And why did the publisher post it? So what's the, what's the purpose? Maybe you're searching it for another purpose and they're writing it on another perspective. Again, selection is a standpoint. So if you're writing it for a different purpose or you're searching it for a different purpose and they're then writing it for a different purpose, so you need to check if, if, if it is still reliable to the one that you're seeking, the information or the answers that you're seeking. Who is the intended, intended, intended audience? So is it kids or is it um, the young adults? Is it the, the adults? Is it the middle ages? So things like that, middle aged rather. And I, maybe you need to take note, maybe if, if it's for kids, so therefore the vocabulary is just for kids. If it's for advanced readers, so the, voca the vocabs will be much advanced. And what is the quality of information provided on the website? Is it is it on standard? Is it high quality? How is it? So maybe if, if it's not um if it's not uh if it's not um if it if it doesn't fit rather if it doesn't fit your standard so maybe change the website or change your source right? Okay, we're now on the last slide. Now we're going to show the very simple and very brief slide of applications of computer in science and research so this is very brief um, this list is just among others there are thousands hundreds millions even billions of applications of computers in science and research so these are just some of them specifically four of them so we have bioinformatics so this is an application so an application of information technology to store organize and analyze vast amount of biological data bioinformatics we have the swiss prot or the protein sequence database just one of the the very um 
important applications the rational drug discovery so it's taken from here sequencing and we have also the plant biotechnology again among others there are thousands if not millions of applications of computer in science and research because these are just some of them and yeah that's the end of our batch of videos in the information age um in this in this chapter of specific issues in science technology and society again we're in our course in science technology and society and this is a playlist and thank you very much for being with me all the way um i appreciate it and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe okay thank you very much